Right now in my 2D mining game, you can shoot bats, mine blocks, and the bats even do some pathfinding. So today we're going to add in loot that drops when you mine blocks. We'll start by creating a new scene, making it an area 2D, and then we'll add a sprite 2D. Speaking of sprites, let's hop into a sprite and create a quick and simple placeholder for our loot. Then we can throw that into our sprite 2D and we'll outline the artwork with a collision shape 2D. Very nice. Actually, on second thought, I think I want to make my loot a rigid body 2D so that way the physics will interact with it a bit more. It will throw it into our scene in a random spot to see how it looks. And perfect. It actually collides with our terrain. But I want to make the loot look a little bit more kind of um, separate than the terrain itself. So we'll make it blue and match our diamonds here. Then in the ready function for the loot, we'll go ahead and randomize the rotation just to make it look a bit more interesting. Now we need a way to actually suck up the loot. So we'll create an area 2D for the player. We'll name that the loot range, making it a circle for the collision shape. Finally, using the body enter signal to check to see if that body is part of the loot group and if it is for now we'll just go ahead and clean that up using q free we'll then make sure to update our collision layers and we can actually rename this fifth layer to be loot using these three dots here and just changing the layer five name to be loot uh, it's not seeming to work quite yet what could it be Oh, yep. It looks like I didn't actually add loot to the loot group. Let's run a quick test and fantastic. There we go. Now let's throw together a quick little piece of UI just to track how many pieces of loot we've collected during the session. And it looks good enough for now, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be good enough for this kind of this current little session. All right. Now let's spawn in some of this loot when we actually mine a tile. And to do that, I'm going to create a little bit of a for loop here. We'll need a reference to our loot packed scene. We can use an export variable right there. Very nice. Then we'll instantiate a piece of our loot using the instantiate function. Then we can use add trial to add it to our current scene. And finally, we'll go ahead and change the position just to be a bit random. So when it spawns in, it kind of looks like a bunch of loot pops out of the mined tile. Oh, uh, uh, what? Oh, I didn't actually set the export variable for the pack scene there. And we'll also turn off the collision shape. So it's a little bit cleaner to see. And we'll go ahead and click mining here. Okay, cool. It looks like the loot is spawning as white. And that seems to be because I didn't actually set the color in the loot scene. And instead just set it in our main scene there. And that looks a lot better. The, the physics seem to be glitching out a little bit. But I think if we tweak some of these spawning numbers, we won't be glitching out beneath the, the terrain quite like that. So we'll adjust the, the randomness of the Y location. And let's also make more spawn at once because more feels better. And indeed, more does feel better. But now we need to actually have the UI update accordingly. So we'll hop over into the UI's code, create a quick function to set the amount of resources collected. So changing the labels text. And finally, we need an add loot function. So we can call this from our player script to increase the number of resources and then update the UI's text. We'll hop back over into our player script and just make sure we're calling the correct function when that body enters the player's loot range. And there you have it. I, this actually feels really good. It makes it feel like when you destroy a block, you're actually mining it and collecting resources. So I'd love to hear what you think down in the comments or come join me over in my discord so we can chat about game dev or, or your ideas for this game or your ideas for any game really i just like chatting with you viewers it's, it's why i do what i do thank you so much for watching i've been aramis have a great day